All right, hey, this is Adam, Amp Custom Paint and Collision, New Carlisle, Indiana. Quick video, won't take but a minute, minute and a half. The importance of getting your vehicle inspected by a repair shop after an accident. Okay, uh, 2019 Honda Accord. Got bumped in the quarter panel a little bit, well, bumper. See the scuff marks, got a little bit of trim hanging off here. Uh, a couple scratches, but nothing major. That one little rock right there close to the body. The quarter panel looks fine, right? <clears throat> so, you get into a parking lot, something happens like this. You go, oh, it's not too bad. Um, we'll take care of it, you know, exchange numbers, whatever. Somebody gives you some false information, then it's left up to you. Well, you look at it, you say, well, that's not that bad anyway. It's just a bumper. Um, as you can see by the paper plate, this car's brand new. 2,500 miles, 2019. So you think a bumper, oh, can't be that bad. A couple hundred bucks, have it repainted. Um, we'll go from there. Well, this is one of the things that happens and in, um, insurance companies will look at something like this and these snap sheet estimates or photo estimates that the big companies are doing where they say, hey, send us a picture of your damage and we'll, we'll send you a check. Well, from a photo, will you see a scuff bumper? A couple hundred bucks, repaint it, call it good. Well, what you don't see is the damage that's behind it. So we've already taken this bumper off and looked at it. Um, all the bolts and stuff or attachment points are out of it. So I'm just gonna rip it off here real quick and show you what you can't see. These are all held on by plastic uh, retainers. See that? All crushed. It's not supposed to be like that pressure release vent damage which that's a cheap part but the metal all behind it that's all crushed that's all part of this quarter panel on this Honda that is a lower section of the quarter extension it's not a separate piece so to replace that and repair it properly this entire quarter panel has to come off this car in order to do that you got to pull the doors off pull the back glass out of it side glass paint the whole side door jam rocker moldings it's about a six thousand dollar repair um, and it looked like just a bumper from the photos. So um, I'm gonna walk around the other side here. Hopefully the paper plate doesn't matter. I'm gonna pop the trunk, show you what was underneath the carpet when we pulled the carpet up. Kind of hard to see, but you can see all the sound deadening material is all busted free. Um, the floor is broke, or I'm not, I'm sorry, not broke, uh, damaged. The floor extension panel is damaged. That needs to be replaced. The rear body panel is all crushed in here. Um, so that whole rear body panel needs to be replaced also. There's a lot more damage to this vehicle than you could ever imagine just by looking at the bumper or from a photo. Insurance companies want people to just take a check off of a photo estimate and go cash it and be done with it and forget about it. The insurance company saved thousands of dollars by having people do this. Um, it's no skin off their back. And the thing about it is once a vehicle is damaged, it doesn't perform the same way in another collision. Everything's meant to crumple in a certain way in a certain manner in an accident. And once it's already crumpled once, it gets hit again, it, it doesn't react the same. So every time a vehicle is damaged like this and not repaired, it's a safety issue also. So. Just want to make a quick video and uh, inform people of what what is going on out there. And when when you take your car to a shop and there's a little scuff on the bumper, and then you see a six thousand dollar estimate, know that the shop isn't trying to screw you and make a bunch of money off you. They want to fix your car properly and the right way. The stuff that you can't see is where the real money and the real damage is. So I'll uh, I'll post another video maybe as we get this one taken apart and start doing the repair process. Have a good day.